Welcome back to Orkato for Beginners. Today we'll walk through how you can keep data between two applications in sync, or what's called a bi-directional or two-way sync. Now, if you haven't already, check out our past Workado for Beginners video, Conditional Actions, as we'll be building upon that same workflow. And we also spent time walking through how we linked records between Salesforce and Jira, the apps we'll be using today. Now, as a brief recap, we've been working on an automation centered around improving our ticket escalation process. So when support creates or updates customer cases in Salesforce, we want our engineers to have that same information in Jira so they can prioritize tasks, delegate work, and even reach out back to support for more information. And we built a recipe that does just that. So here, if we take a look at that recipe, we can see that if there's a new or updated case in Salesforce, the recipe will either update an existing issue or create a new issue. However, if we take a look at this recipe, there's one big issue. Though engineers will receive updates from support, what happens when an engineer posts an update to an issue in Jira, right? Support will be left in the dark. And what's more concerning is that updates made in Salesforce can potentially overwrite the data engineers are putting in, which could lead to a whole new set of problems. So in order to avoid these issues, today we'll create a bi-directional sync between Salesforce and Jira. To see this in action, let's jump back to our project. And from here, we'll create a new recipe. I'll start by giving the recipe a meaningful name, updated Jira issue, update Salesforce case, and I'll select trigger from an app. Now in the recipe editor, we want to look out for updates in Jira. So for the trigger, I'll select Jira. And for the trigger event, I'll select updated issue. And for the connection, I'll select our product team Jira connection. And it looks like for this specific trigger, I have to select a start time for the recipe. So I'll click on the calendar icon on the right and pick today's date and select 12 p.m since I really only want to move updates from today onward. Now I only want this recipe to run if there's a corresponding Salesforce case. So I'll add a trigger condition. For the data field, I want to check if the Salesforce case ID is stored in the Jira issue. So I'll select that from the data tree and right below I'll set the condition to is present to check if it exists or not. Now with the trigger setup, even though I have the Salesforce case ID stored in Jira, I want to make sure the Salesforce case exists. So for my first action, I'll search for the Salesforce case. I'll select an action in an app, select Salesforce, and select search record. For the connection, I'll pick our product team Salesforce connection. Now for the Salesforce search record action, I need to specify which object I want to find. And in this case, no pun intended, we want to search for the Salesforce case. So I'll select that from the dropdown, and to search, I can use the Salesforce case ID, which we stored in our Jira issues. So I'll grab that data pill from the data tree. Next, in order to check if the case exists, I'll add a conditional action. So I'll select the if conditional action. And on the right side of the screen, I'll set the data field to case ID, which we can pull from the Salesforce search step. And I'll set the condition to is present. So now we'll only do the next set of actions if the case exists. Now, if the case ID is present, we'll update the Salesforce case. So I'll select Salesforce again, and I'll select update record case. And again, I can find the case using the case ID from the Salesforce search step. I'll update the case description with the issue description from Jira, and the assigned engineer field with the assignee display name from Jira as well. And this way, when the case is updated, support can know who's working on the case and has the latest details from engineering. And that's it, that's the whole recipe. So I'll hit save up at the top. And to go over the recipe one more time, if an issue is updated in Jira and has a corresponding Salesforce case, the recipe will search for the case in Salesforce. And if the case ID is present, the recipe will update the corresponding Salesforce case with the new description. All right, so the recipe looks good, so let's run a test. I'll go ahead and click the test button up at the top. And in Salesforce, I already have this Slack connector issue case open with the case number 50. 
and I can see that it's matched to the Jura issue 24. And right below, we can see that the case isn't assigned to anyone yet. And if we scroll down even further, we can see it has a description saying that the customer is unable to create a Slack connection. So now let's go over to Jira and make an update. Now in Jira, I have issue 24 open and it's tied to Salesforce case 50 with the same Slack connector issue summary and the same description. As an update, I'll assign someone to the issue. I'll assign Drew Eng and I'll add a line in the description saying that the issue has been assigned and is currently being investigated. So I'll click save, and now let's head back to Workato. Back in Workato, it looks like the trigger has already caught some activity. And there it is, the recipe was successful. Because the trigger event automatically caught the update in Jira and has a corresponding Salesforce case, the recipe updated the case in Salesforce. So let's click into the update case step and take a look at the data. If we look on the right side of the screen, we can see that the description has been updated with the new information in the description that this issue has been assigned and is currently being investigated and that Drew has been added as the assigned engineer. So let's go back to Salesforce to check. Again, I have case number 50 open and it's tied to Jira issue 24, but it looks like the assigned engineer and description haven't been updated yet. So let's refresh the page and there they are. We can see Drew has been added as the assigned engineer, and the description now has the updated information that the issue has been assigned and is currently being worked on. As you can see, by using these two recipes together, we were able to keep both Salesforce and Jira in sync, which allows our support and engineering teams to stay up to date and allows them to move with speed. To learn more about bi-directional sync, you can visit our docs at docs.workado.com. I hope this helps, and as always, thank you for watching.